Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in this Armour 2 series and in this tutorial I will be showing you groups, triggers and waypoints but first to clear up on something that I did last tutorial when I came out with the incredibly helpful line of to delete something just delete it when actually it should have been to delete something scroll over it and press your delete key like so but anyway Errata aside, we'll start doing something. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to change it so the independents are friendly to everyone, so I don't get shot at when I place groups down. And I will spawn as, let's see, I'll have a mercenary for a change. That'll do. Make look at the runway. Alright. Now for groups. To place a group, double click, and then it comes up with basically cut down options from the place unit, so faction. So we'll start with a group of blue force soldiers, and we'll stick with the USMC. And then there's varied types, so infantry, you know, infantry, uh, motorized infantry, so infantry manned in Humvees, mechanized infantry, APCs, armor, tanks, air helicopters. And we'll just start with, say, a sniper team. We'll have them looking to the right. Here we go. And now I'll just show you what's spawned. Here we are. I'm going to just go for a run. You can see them over there in the distance. Over there. There we go. We have a sniper and a spotter. Right, here we are back in the editor and I'll start by moving myself a bit closer. Now the ranks well, I've mentioned last week last tutorial, but I will show now. I'll spawn another mercenary, so we'll have an AK one oh seven soldier. And his rank is private, so is mine, so we get auto groups together. But neither of us will be in overall command because we're the same rank. So let's see, I shall change my rank to Sergeant. And now if I just preview it, I am now in command of this soldier. There he is. However, if I'm now to go and place another mercenary, set his rank to captain, by default now he will be in command. See, there we go. Shows us a ranking officer. Only way to change that is if he dies. One. And my friendly guy doesn't like that. Anyway, I will stop messing around with them and we'll move on to some triggers which will also use waypoints. So let's spawn using the groups. We shall spawn motorized infantry. No we won't. We shall spawn armor for the simple reason that armor won't have infantry lugging around behind it. We'll have a tank platoon. That's it in command tank. Right, okay. We shall have a trigger. There are many types of triggers. You can have presence, not presence. So say, if uh, let's say in this instance, if op four arrived in the area of the trigger, the area is defined by these and the shape, then it would activate this trigger. But I'm not going to use one of them. I'm going to use the radio alpha. So activation radio alpha and we shall do close that we shall move it doesn't really matter because it's not related to any end game object and it won't appear as anything and then we shall set a default waypoint for it to move to and it will stay there and now we shall set another one here speed full and now I'm going to use the synchronize tool which basically means when this happens synchronizing it will cause something else to happen so that unit will stop at the waypoint when that's triggered 
do not move past that waypoint which I will show you now. There we go, we can see the tanks off in the distance. They are either moving to their first waypoint or they've got there. I think they've got there. And now we will open the radio. Alpha. And once they start messing around, they will begin to drive in our direction. There we go, that guy's got the right idea. Here he comes. Oh, and they're all following on now. As you can see, they're moving very fast due to the speed setting. Anyway, back to the game. Well, now we're back in the editor. I shall set up a basic sort of combat scenario using these tools. So, we'll spawn a group of Russian armor now. Spawn here so they're out of sight. Russia, armor, tank platoon, set them so they're facing downwards. Okay, and now we'll set another trigger. And we shall all do this up here. We shall call this. We'll set it to Radio Bravo. And then some waypoints again, so the tank knows to move. And then we'll have it shoot down here. Fast. But we're also going to change behavior now combat and combat mode to open fire engage at will so they'll be looking for enemies and when they spot them they will open fire we shall do the same for these American tanks and then to finish off we'll synchronize this trigger to that waypoint and now I'll give it a test I didn't show just then I moved my player so I could get a bit closer to the action stand in the middle and there we go just let them position themselves and now we shall open radio menu see alpha and bravo have appeared now do alpha first get the american tanks moving and now we'll do bravo russian tanks are moving here they come now i'm not sure whether one will actually spot the other at the moment because i don't know how aware they are and I hope they don't shoot over me. So, yep, they spotted each other. Americans, uh, oh no, they both killed one side. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's the second T90 down. Oh, second. Um, come on, someone win. <laughs> And they've given up. Uh -oh. oh no, there goes the third T seventy two. T ninety, sorry. And it's still there actually. That's the American tanks that have been killed off. Okay, back to the editor. Right, so now I've shown you these basic tools and I'm gonna use some of the info from the last tutorial to set up a basic helicopter insertion. So we're going to start by loading a new mission on Sands. Then we're going to find the airbase. It's a huge map, this. And we'll stay zoomed out for a bit. There you go. All right. We'll start off with. Let's see, we'll use. We'll use a helicopter. Use a Chinook. That'll do. We'll set it facing straight down. But now we're going to change some settings. We're going to start off with flying. Give it maximum scale. Then we're going to start this. Well, you can use this, but it's probably better to use helicopter because I'll start off hovering as opposed to moving forwards. So, helicopter fly in height. And we'll set it to 30 and the semicolon there again so that nothing happens to it if we access multiple commands and next we're going to... Sp oh, I don't want to be that, why has it made me that? I don't want to play that 
Let's come up with the player error when I spawn these. I'm going to make a group of blue four. We'll make a rifle squad. And then I will set myself... Oh dear. Sorry about this. My right mouse button's died. Just remove them. <laughs> Alright, we'll set a smaller squad, it'll be better. Fire Team MG. And then I shall play as one of those riflemen. Alright, and then we need to name the helicopter, so we will call it. Let's call it Heli. And then using that same moving cargo command from the last tutorial on all of these men. So, this move in cargo heli I shall copy this to speed the process up get that middle guy and you'll notice now when you scroll over it shows that uh, in it underneath it so the moving cargo bit now for some waypoints so we shall grab the helicopter and then we'll move fast. I don't know where where should we land. We'll land there. We'll move fast to here. Full. And then we'll slow down a bit so we don't overshoot to normal. And now we need to use a special item. Which is in the empty section. Then it is objects so many objects <laughs> H invisible you can use the proper helicopter pads but we'll stick with invisible one and we'll call it land and now we shall set another waypoint on the landing pad we'll change this to transport unload and We'll we'll leave that timed actually. So we'll set a maximum of fifteen seconds, that should be ample time to get out of the helicopter. And then we shall set move full and then we'll have it shoot across the desert. and we shall lock the helicopter because we should be auto forced out of it when it lands and we don't want players jumping out halfway right we'll jump into the game here we are in the back of the Chinook as you can see there we go we've just been given the command to disembark Landing is so painfully slow. I have to bide your time with these things. <laughs> Here we go, touching down. And we should be forced out of the helicopter. There we go. And now we'll give this helicopter couple of seconds and off it goes. So this concludes the second tutorial. I hope you found these two interesting and useful so far. And there'll be more to come, setting up different scenarios using different commands. Um, I hope to see you soon.